Hi, this is Jeremy Wynn, and I'm going to show you my video review of the 2701 HD modem that was manufactured by TwoWire. Now, I have the Quest modem, the Quest model of the TwoWire. As you can see, my TwoWire is fully functional. First, I have the power light. I have Ethernet 1 and 2 lid. There's the wireless light that's on, and then DSL and internet. They're all green, so the modem's good. It's all operational. One thing I do like about the Quest model that the AT&T model does not have is it has a convenient USB jack on the back. So you can uh, hook up a computer via the USB port. Unlike uh, cable modems, use of the USB port will not slow your network down. Wireless setup is pretty easy too. And just use the network key on the label, on the, the silver colored label on the back of the modem, and uh, type that into the wireless utility on both your laptop computers and your other wireless devices on your network and bravo you are connected it all it powers up via a 5.1 volt dc adapter and now that we've taken a look at the modem why don't we go take a look at the computer screen i can show you how fast this thing really is it's pretty fast. It's like having a fiber optics modem built into a DSL modem, really. The, uh, so, I'm at weather.com mobile on my laptop computer, and so I am going to check the weather forecast real quick. And uh, it looks like we got a thunderstorm coming in today. So I'm going to check it out and see. As you can see, that's a pretty fast internet connection here. Shows that it's mostly cloudy. And uh, we've got a 50% chance of thunderstorms today. So, yeah, as you can see, that, that internet connection, it's pretty savvy. Pretty, pretty darn fast there. And... Uh, I can show you in just a moment. I will show you the latest firmware version of the uh, that has been installed on this two wire modem. And as you can see there on your screen, that's the latest firmware for the 2701HT. I have it set up so that uh, only I can uh, access the firmware, the control module. The uh, you have to have a password to be able to get in. And uh, uh, if you have a 2701 HD modem, and you go to uh, and you don't have the latest version of the firmware, which you will need if you want to use this modem for voice over IP services and then you will have to go to qwhelp.com and select the 2701HD model and uh, there will be instructions there on Quest's help website where you can uh, where you can download the latest firmware and, uh, and then you will be able to hook up your digital voice over IP and so on. So, Also, I, uh, unlike a lot of other people, I also have a Wi-Fi printing on mine. So my Quest 2 wire 2701 is pretty much, this is my Lexmark Wi-Fi printer here. 
So as you can see pretty much the uh, two-wire modem is the general hub, the central hub, which holds the network in my home office together. So it's a really good modem. I really like it. And uh, I really do recommend the 27012-wire. It's a, uh, it's a pretty good modem. So thank you so much. And I uh, hope you'll definitely make the decision to make the good investment. Easy modem to use, and it's really awesome. Fast